Thanks to Colin McDonald for suggesting this one, Time Pilot. Time Pilot is one of those games that doesn't get mentioned very often. Released in the arcade by Konami in 1982, it would have been going up against heavy hitters such as Pac-Man, Frogger, or Donkey Kong, so it stands to reason that Time Pilot wouldn't be on a lot of people's radars, but it was a big hit in its own right that introduced some influential concepts in video games. I'll confess, I don't remember playing any iteration of it, so I'm going into this one a bit cold, but the premise is intriguing. You're playing as a fighter jet traveling through different eras of time, and the goal is to rescue as many pilots as you can which are trapped in all of the various time periods. The Atari 2600 manual doesn't expand on this much, it just says you're caught in a time warp. We'll start with the arcade version. Gameplay is centered around top-down action, and at a glance this will look familiar to fans of Asteroids. However, the controls are different and that was a thing I struggled with a bit at first. In Asteroids, you steer left or right by pressing left or right on the joystick while pressing up or down to speed up or slow down. In Time Pilot, your plane is always moving forward. You steer up by pressing the joystick up, steer to the left of the screen by pressing left, steer to the right of the screen by pressing right and so forth. If you want to do a 180, you'll need to actually basically do a 180 with the joystick, so that just takes a little bit of getting used to. If you can force yourself to unlearn asteroids, it's actually pretty cool because one of your biggest weapons is your ability to maneuver. Your only gun is a simple machine gun, so you're going to need to get good, as the kids say these days, at maneuvering your aircraft if you want to go far in this game. There are five levels in Time Pilot that span through different eras of time. 1910, 1940, 1970, 1982, and 2001. What's cool about this is each level has enemies that are unique to that time period. In 1910, you're going up against humble biplanes. 1940 has some big lumbering bomber planes. 1970 has helicopters. And in 1982, you're basically fighting against Top Gun. And in 2001, you're fighting flying saucers. Everybody remembers when planet Earth was totally overrun with flying saucers in 2001, right? Enemies get quicker and have more armaments the further you go into the game, including long range missiles that can lock onto you. You'll need to be able to outmaneuver those too as they'll eventually catch up to you if you just keep going in the same direction. You rack up extra points by rescuing parachuting pilots by just flying straight into them, I guess? You progress through the levels by beating enough enemies to eventually spawn a boss that you have to take down. There's an indicator at the bottom of the screen letting you know how many enemies are left before the boss shows up. For example, in the first level, you'll have to fight a blimp. Once you defeat the boss, you'll go through a really neat time warp sequence into the next stage. The clever time warp sequences between stages, as well as having boss fights get triggered after taking out a certain amount of enemies, was a pretty big deal and something new with the time. It's also cool that the player's movements are a free-roaming experience. In Asteroids, for example, you're limited to one screen that you just loop through, but Time Pilot lets you fly freely and endlessly in all directions while your plane stays in the center of the screen. Time Pilot was designed by Yoshiki Akamoto, who also designed Gyrus. The story goes that Akamoto had been tasked by Konami to create a racing game, but instead, Akamoto was secretly working on Time Pilot. Akamoto later went on to work for Capcom and helped spearhead other major hits such as Street Fighter 2 and was eventually involved with Resident Evil. There was a sequel to Time Pilot called Time Pilot 84, and this was more of the same, although this time you're locked into a futuristic landscape that looks like something out of Blade Runner. Your machine gun is upgraded to a double barrel variant, and you've also got missiles that you can use to lock onto larger enemies. And then, as with all things in this world, Time Pilot eventually got a port on the Atari 2600. The port was handled and released by Coleco, and from a technical standpoint, eh, I mean, it's not bad. They managed to cram all five levels in there, just like in the arcades. The enemies and backgrounds all change with the levels, and they even got a little time warp sequence programmed in, which is pretty cool. I actually really like the way they made use of the console's limited sound capabilities, and all of the plane and explosion sounds are represented nicely given what they had to work with. But I have to say, this is definitely not a great port and not much fun to play on the Atari, at least in my opinion. To be fair, I'm not sure it could have been any better, as there are a lot of core gameplay elements from the arcade version that the Atari just can't faithfully duplicate. For starters, firing your gun is weird. 
Steering your plane is the same as in the arcades, but when you fire your weapon, you'll fire two shots, and then if you press fire again, those two shots disappear in favor of the two new shots. In other words, if you want to hit something that's far away from you, you have to fire your shot and then wait. So you can't just mash on the fire button and do rapid fire the whole time. Also, if you steer, your shot will turn with your steering, so you basically have to keep moving toward the enemy until it blows up or you miss. And you'll miss. Getting your shots lined up is pretty tough on the Atari version, and I felt like I had a lot of near misses that just shouldn't have happened. The movement is also pretty stilted and clunky compared to other Atari games that seem to run buttery smooth, such as Chopper Command. Time Pilot on the Atari 2600 has been going in the $15 to $20 range too lately for a physical copy, so I definitely can't recommend paying that much for it. But I'll admit, I went into this one cold. What did you think of this one? Did you have Time Pilot on Atari or played in the arcades? What are some of your other favorite Atari 2600 arcade ports that you'd like to see covered here on the channel? Or for that matter, what are some other arcade games you'd like for me to take a look at? The name of the show is Friday Night Arcade, so I guess I should start actually looking at arcade games at some point. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't text and drive, and I'll see you next time on Friday Night Arcade.